beauty products are often my Achilles heel when it comes to packing. Um, so I can't put in as much as I want to. That's my sister and my niece, little niece running around downstairs. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Ali and Nesh Edits. I'm Ali. Uh, this week we've decided to do separate videos. This is what I've decided to take with me on um, a recent holiday to Portugal. I'm just out here on my last day now. I'm getting, thinking about having to pack. I don't want to pack. Um, but before I start packing, I just wanted to share with you what I brought with me. To be honest, I probably packed too much and I didn't really need it all. But um, I'm going to share with you the things I did take. So let's have a look in my wardrobe. So here we go. This is my wardrobe. So let's start on feet first. I travelled in my um, Birkenstocks. These are the lightweight Eva ones, so they're so comfortable. I travelled in them and because I know they're super comfortable. These are kind of... I suppose sort of slightly more dressy. These were old, um, they're leather from Buffalo that I got from TK Maxx a few years ago. But they're just really good for sort of looking a little bit more dressy but still flat. I didn't want to wear heels. And then I've got these sliders which came from um, Gap to wear around by the pool and around the house. So I just took three pairs of shoes, travelled in them, wanted to wear them if I wanted to wear something a bit dressier and these are for the pool. Um, for me, shoes are often the things that are the most heaviest. So this is going into the wardrobe. As you can see, what I decided to do on this holiday was to keep a color palette that was very similar so that I could mix and match things. So this is what I traveled in. I'll show you what I traveled in. Obviously it's August, so it's warm. I traveled in a pair of linen wide leg trousers, beige in them. So I had those on. I also had them on with my um, Birkenstocks and then a white t-shirt from Uniqlo. Instead of having to take a cardigan or a jacket with me, I wore this um, linen white shirt because I knew that I could use it when I got here as a beach cover-up. Um, I've also got this shirt with me, which is linen from Mango. Um, I've only worn this once, I think, whilst we were out here as a little cover-up because it was a bit chilly on one of the first nights. I took three dresses. I've actually worn this one twice. This is like a double layered knit one from um, Mango, kind of midi length. Oh, this one which is a little bit more dressier. I wore this on a night out when we went for dinner with the family on my dad's birthday. Then I've got a long maxi skirt, orange. Actually, I bought these at the same time. They're both in the sale from um, H&M, it's like a maxi skirt. And I've worn that with this shirt over the top, sort of tied up around the waist, which was nice. And to be honest, I haven't actually worn half of these t-shirts, but I just bought them with me in case I did need them. And they were kind of all colors so that I could kind of mix and match. You know, a black one. I have worn this vest because this is one of those vests. We featured this in one of our videos before, actually. I've got a built-in bra. So there's no need to wear a bra with them, which is great on holiday when you're hot. So I have worn that. These were from Gap, but from Sainsbury's, just kind of like easy, like a pink cut off. Nothing's too short and everything will mix and match with all the t-shirts that I've got. And I've got my hat. This was from H&M. And they're moving down to bikinis. I love bando styles, this, this shape. It's most flattering for me. So I've got a black bando bottoms i've got a yellow one and then i've got a print one here with me this is one from um next last year which is quite nice it's got sort of like a bronzy tone in it so i've just mixed it with the black bottoms and worn that and that and kind of mixed and matched as well i quite like mixing and matching so i might wear that bikini top with those bottoms and vice versa my beach bag which was from i think like this was from tesco's a couple of years ago Please excuse the mess behind because I'm about to uh, pack, so it's all out. This was the other dress that I've bought and I have worn this a lot. This was from um, Mango. I think it's Currents. It's a really nice beach cover-up, pool cover-up kind of um, style. Moving closer. Um, in terms of jewellery, I bought these little pearl earrings. These have been really nice. I've worn these quite a lot. These are from H&M as well. From Mango, a bum bag. I'm obsessed with bum bags at the moment. So it's like a white 
um, bum bag, which kind of lattice kind of detail on the um, faux leather. So I've used this as a bum bag and I've used it on my arm like a bag as well. Here I've got my sunglasses. So I have brought with me four different options because I like to um, mix it up. Go. So this is my um, pair, I've had these a long time. These are um, Victoria Beckham ones that I managed to get from TK Maxx ones. They're very classic shape, you know, they never date. This is a pair that I managed to get from Primark earlier in the year. They were only three pounds and I've had so many comments on them. Every time I've worn them, they're quite oversized, but they're just a really nice shape. And I like that they go from the tortoise shell into sort of like a purpley shade. These two I purchased new from Amazon just before I came away. Um, remember all the links I, I can't put the links for these anymore, but the links for these I will put in the description box. So make sure you click on there to have a little look. These, I really like this cat eye style. I really like them because they were matte black. Uh, and I got these from Amazon and they did them in loads of different colors. So. What beauty products did I decide to take on holiday with me? First up, let's talk body and tanning. This is the Gatineau um, Tan Accelerator Lotion. I've been using this two weeks before holiday and then using it as a moisturizer in the evenings. This helps you to um, you'll get your skin ready for the sun and helps you prolong your tan once you've got a tan. We featured this in our summer beauty um, video, so I'll put a link in here as well for our other video on summer beauty products as well. Um, and whilst we're on the subject of accelerating tanning. I've got the Ultra Sun SPF 30 body tan activating lotion. So this helps you get a tan, but safely. We're talking about tanning. Um, I did have a fake tan before I came out on holiday, but the kind of transition to when that sort of faded off and to getting a, a real tan, I topped up with the Gatineau Golden Glow Gradual Tan. So it just helps, not like an obvious um, faux tan, it just sort of helps uh, to give you a bit of a glow and to blend into um, my natural tan. I've got my perfume, which I've decanted into one of these things. This is the Twist and Spritz, so you don't need to take your perfume with you. In here, I've got my cleansing oil, which is the micellar cleansing oil from Declior. This is ideal for breaking down um, waterproof mascara. I bought um, waterproof mascara with me and my um, eyebrow stuff, which is quite budge proof. So this helps to budge anything uh, to get rid of it all. I've got Philip King's The Elasticizer with me. Shampoo and conditioner is actually in the bathroom. I've got to get it. What have I got with me? I've got Living Proof um, with me. The um, Pixie Tonic Glow, which is the glycolic acid. Um, oily cuticle oil. Great for keeping toenails and nails all nice and moisturized around the nail, especially when your toes are on holiday and they get quite dusty. And then as an all round face cream um, for day, night, eye, neck, um, I went for Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream because you can use it for all of those areas. So I didn't need to bring separate eye creams, neck creams um, and what have you. Then I'm gonna move on to makeup. Couldn't go anywhere without my Trini Stacks. So I've bought various things. I've got um, two lip glows. I've got Mia on at the moment actually, which is that gorgeous pink. Just really nice creamy textures, which I think are perfect for holiday. They don't look like you've got too much makeup on. Mama, which is like a really nice corally um, gold shade. The cream eyeshadows, which are really nice for holiday because they're um, cream based. It doesn't feel like you've got loads of makeup on and they sit well in the heat. That's a lip glow. That one is, I think that one's, what's that one? Grace, that's a really nice shade. And they don't take up too much space. So I actually haven't worn that much makeup, but these are perfect if I do decide to put a little bit of color on my eyes, a bit of mascara, just really nice, warm, glowy um, colors that, because they're a cream texture, just suit holiday skin. I bought with me um, Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. I've got Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation, and then I've got um, Laura Mercier um, Secret Camouflage Concealer. And mascaras I've got with me, I bought two little miniature ones. I've got um, both Bobbi Brown, I've got the Smoky Eye one, and then I've got the No Smudge, I always think it's No Budge, No Smudge Mascara from Bobbi Brown as well, and this really does not budge. And one last thing is the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow Pomade for my brows. It's waterproof, sweatproof, perfect for down by the pool, 
um, in and out of the pool, down by the beach, etc. So that's for my brows. Um, I'm going to put a link in here to Nesh's video. Um, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. Take care. Bye bye.